In all of our lives, a week passes quickly. How many of us, when we look back on a year, remember individual weeks in such detail? Every one of you have made this one of the most incredible weeks of our lives. Some of you, when I'm walking around, you know, I, I get hugely embarrassed when people say to me, oh, Niall, what you're doing is great, and, you know, even somebody said, you're my hero. And I want to tell every one of you something. Every single person in this room is one of my heroes. You... Forgetting about the rows over hurling or GAA, when, um, when I go to Cork at a fundraiser, I usually talk about some amazing person in Kerry that's inspired me. Or when I go to Mayo, I might talk about a great night in Sligo. Or in Belfast, about a great night in Louth. We have an amazing, an amazing group of people on our small island. And the ambassador talked about the tough times in Ireland at the moment. And what an example every one of you are giving to your, your brothers and sisters, to your children, to your friends, that no matter what challenges you, you deal with back home, you're taking a few days out to help improve the life of a poor person here in South Africa. I was very lucky a couple of years after I started the project to be invited to meet Nelson Mandela. And in those 10 or 15 minutes, you know, just sitting with one of the most incredible men on the planet, I learned so much. I looked up this evening, one of the, one of the, one of the quotes he gave that probably summed up, you know, so much about his, um, his ability to, to, to teach us what should be so simple, but, but maybe isn't. If I can read out, one of his great quotes was, to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. The freedom of others. One family who got a house today, you know, said without understanding what it meant, you know, the, 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 the lady of the house said to me, I'm finally free. I'm free of that shack and I'm never going back to it. And my life begins today. I've had nine years working in townships and I've had nine years to get to know the South African people and the South African government. And at every level of our society here in South Africa, it's, it's awash with fantastic people full of talent and ability and a passion to improve this country. All of us have been touched this week by the warm friendliness of the little children, by the grace and dignity of the adults we've met living in shacks. Some of you have talked about the young teenage girls in the shacks and their life stories. Every one of you moved by some small moment you spent with one of these people. And that is one of the great privileges. That video with President Zuma was another special moment in my life last night. We sat in this state house here in Cape Town, and I was proud mostly because I listened to him talk about each of you with such respect and such admiration for our small island 6,000 miles away. He used words like, the Irish are just a unique and special people. And when you consider how much it must have meant to him that he probed and asked me when the next date was, so he could come and volunteer and be a part of it. That is the president of this great country, a man who now wants to take time out with us on our blitz as a mark of his respect. You're going to leave here tonight. You're going to go home tomorrow. You're going to go home, particularly for people who've just finished the first week. You're going to go home a different person. You truly are 
a world citizen now. You're a maker of lives. You're a maker of dreams. Look at the lives that are left behind tonight. Over the next few days, 800 people, 400 children to 500 children sleeping their first night inside a beautiful bedroom with a roof that won't blow off. You've done that. And when a charity is big, you might say to yourself, well, I'm not important. What difference does it make if I don't come next year? There's another 749 who might come. The reason we've worked is because you are important. You make it possible for this room to be full. And every one of you have worked so hard this year. And I can't thank you enough. There's no words, I have nothing to say that I could express adequately my deepest, deepest gratitude and appreciation, you know, to all of you for what you've done. This is not my journey, it's our journey. It belongs to every person who's cared enough to make a difference, and you've made that difference. And it belongs to South Africa, who gives us 20 million a year now to help us build more houses. And they in part are doing that because they're inspired by each of you. Next year, we will have President Zuma building with us. And that's a great moment. And I know, I think anyway, if Fergus is in the room, the Irish Independent hopefully be, cover be covering that tomorrow. But even if they're not, it will be covered. So I hope some of you will return. And even if you don't come back, you will always have my eternal appreciation. Thank you.